So the Ghana Revenue Authority, the GRA, has finally settled on the list of services that will attract 17.5% value added tax and national health insurance levy. According to a letter from the authority to the bankers and signed by its Commissioner General George Blanksing, the 32 fee based services will attract uh, tax. From July 1, 2014, the list of fees, commissions, and similar charges for financial services that are subject to the tax was developed by the Technical Committee uh, for the Implementation of VAT Act 2013, Act 870, which, has, uh, which was made up of representatives of the Ghana Bankers Association of Bankers, uh, the Ministry of Finance, and the Ghana Revenue Authority, and approved by the finance minister, said Tepe. Okay, so I've got a list of the things that will attract the 17.5. And I do have uh, the Deputy Commissioner of Policy and Programs. His name is Ni Aite joining me with a lot more clarification on this. And, of course, I'll open the phone lines uh, later on, 0302 or If you've got questions you want to ask as well. But Ni Aie, Aite, good morning to you. Good morning, and thanks for having me. Mm, thank you Pleasure. for being here, really. Thank you. Um, so this 17.5%, mm. initially, I think uh, what a lot of us are interested in is the fact that you did indicate, as in the GRA, said it was not going to uh, attract salaries. Oh, affect that would salaries. be affect salary. That mm. would be the finance ministry. Mm. But now we see, you know, certain people say that if you break it down, really, mm. you realize that salaries are included. It may not be the bulk salary mm. that goes to the bank, mm. but when you do things out of that money, that could attract some of the charges. Mm. Um, thank you very much for this opportunity. The very simple question you have is loaded with several angles that you can take it. But starting from a very, very general thing, like somebody who just wants to know, is it affecting my salary? Mm -hmm. Your salary will be paid into an account. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was supposed your account is going to be a savings account or perhaps a current a personal account. A current account mm -hmm. personal current account I have a current account with one of the banks in which my salary is paid and just now we're starting from the end and I work towards the beginning if you look at the indicative list it does not include savings account mm -hmm. it does not include current account run, uh, run by an individual mm -hmm. Remember, and we'll discuss it later on if the time is financial service. Part of the definition is the operation of a bank account if from the law. And they have been given specifics in terms of this list of the type of bank account. So simply put, your salary, because it is in the savings account, because it is in the current account, which is a personal account, which is not included in the list, the management of that, the fees that the bank will charge in managing that one, will be out, we call it, out of scope, as again the word example. So your salary, I guess you get about 5,000 Ghana cedis or whatever Amen. they're about, or 7,000. Yeah. If it is in that account, no bank is going to impose 17.5% on that amount. It will be legal because the law does not say so. Mm. So the simple answer is that there is no VAT on the amount that you put in your account if it is a savings account and a personal current account. Now you ask that question that eventually all of that thing that you pay mm. will come out of your salary. Yeah, of because course. there is the remote banking services under which we have a lot of things. We have yes, e-statement, e clients for banking. To, to that one. Okay. So your salary is not attracting VAT. But just as you rightly said, all of that expenditures that you make out of your salary, some of them will be VAT-related, not even financial services or loan. Others may be exempt. And that goes for all types of expenditures that you make. So if you move money out of your salary, for instance, mm -hmm. to request for, for a banker's draft for your child to pay school fees, you are now engaging in another type of service. That service that the bank is going to grant you for transferring 200 or 500 Ghana cities for school fees by way of a banker's draft attracts a fee by the bank. Mm -hmm. There is no tax VAT by the law on the amount of 200 or 300 that you want to transfer. The fee that the bank will charge you, and I'm using this illustration because that is what we are using our habits, of an amount, say five cities, that fee becomes the value on which VAT is imposed. So there will be 17 apples, assuming the bank is putting, still maintaining the fee as five cities. Mm -hmm. which, which a lot of 
a lot of us know that they would not because they're definitely going to pass it on to us. Please let us not be rather judgmental in this way, simply because not only for financial service, for all industries, I believe uh, 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 they, they go through a lot of costing for them to know how much it will cost you to provide this service. Now, I'm not saying they will do this or they don't do that, but then... Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm just thinking that isn't it obvious? It's, it isn't. It is a good way of thinking. But it's also possible that banks have got a lot of loaded taxes in the service that they supply all this while because their services have been largely exempt. And in any enterprise, not only financial services, when your output is exempt, you are unable to recover the inputs that you generate, you, you incur, the VAT that you incur in acquiring inputs for your supplies. That taxes get factored into your pricing. It increases your cost of operation. It makes you, from the tax point of view, a little bit inefficient. Now, where the opportunity is there for you to recover those taxes, you can redo your costing and possibly know that it mean it wouldn't cost me five cities to issue a, a banker's draft, or it may cost me indeed four cities, 30 pesos or whatever. Or it could also be that, despite all that, my cost of operations have gone up. That is why I'm saying that it is not that simple. But mm. for the purpose of illustration, if it is there, it is five cities, and there's a tax on it, every consumption tax is paid by the final consumer. So you would pay five cities, 80 pesos for the bank draft. By the amount which you have taken out of your salary, which you are using for the market draft, is untouched by the VAT. That is the difference between the tax view on fee-based financial services as against the amounts in your, in your transaction. And every tax that you pay, of course, is borne by you, not only VAT, excise and the other consumption You know, I, I think uh, what a lot I of hope, us... I hope this end is clear. What, I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to ask you a question then maybe mm. when, you, when you explain it, I would okay. better understand. The point is I've already paid tax on that amount that's gone into my accounts. Yes, the income tax, that's exactly. right. Exactly. Your salary, so, your, your, it's a very mm -hmm. good question. Your employer will deduct income tax as source, mm -hmm. as most will do, mm -hmm. and pay to Ghana Revenue Authority. Then you have a take-home pay, as it's called. Mm -hmm. It goes into your salary. Mm -hmm. That amount is what is used for consumption. Mm -hmm. I see you have asked a very good question because now you are talking about the two types of taxes that we have. We have got what we call income taxes, which are based on income that you get. If you are a salaried employer, employee, your income is your salary. Okay, there is tax on it, so you pay. It goes into internal revenue service. Joint revenue is a corporate entity, or I mean, multi, multi, multimedia. Multimedia is a corporate entity. It makes what you call corporate profits, and profits that are made have got certain deductions. So out of out of their total sales or whatever, they go through that deduction. There's a certain amount left. There are some allowances, and then they pay tax, say 25 percent of that amount. That is their income tax. So you have income taxes, and there are various forms of them, and then there are the consumption taxes. When you've got your salary or you've made your profits, you go to consume things. It's an indirect tax. You will pay the tax as you consume, and that's the difference. So yes, your salary has come, you've paid income taxes. Mm. Now the salary is in the savings account. There's no VAT on operating of a savings okay. account. Okay, but I'm requesting for an e-statement. Good. You want an e-statement. Mm -hmm. Good. Now you want the bank to give you a certain service. Mm -hmm. Just like you, uh, any advert, somebody wants an advert to come to enjoy for a service of advertising. So for certain services, including e-statement, if you want it, the bank says for a statement, there's a charge of 50 pesos, one city, etc. That fee, of course, if it's in part of the list, then attracts VAT. There's not a lot of deductions, I mean, if you put it, because there's the ATM as well. And a lot of the banks are trying to prevent people from queuing in the banks. So they are encouraging a lot of people to use the ATMs. Mm. But if there are going to be uh, deductions or, um, if you like, uh, taxes mm. on, on ATMs, then people would not want to use the ATMs. Because, you know, we are thinking, I mean, I, you I, have a certain I, I, position, but a lot of us are thinking yes, that, thinking I mean, it's I'll, obvious I'll, that I'll, the banks would, would pass on that cost I to us. I want to see how to explain it. You, see, you have an audience that cuts across from mm -hmm. people who yeah. understand technical issues to those who mm -hmm. just want it simply. Now, any, the wealth that you have, it includes your salary, is what you use for everything. Mm -hmm. You understand me? So, if the issue is e-banking or any other thing that you will say mm -hmm. pay or sms from. banking SMS when they send you a text message i'm only going to add that if you buy a dress from the from 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 a registered taxpayer you'll be paying the taxes too 
but you need dresses. If you buy a watch, you will still pay tax if you need a watch. So that principle is that you consume depending on the nature of service that you want. And some services attract VAT, a few do not attract VAT. So to that extent, yes, you will bear the cost as a final consumer. And I'm always stretching it. That it's not only, you are not only going to spend on demanding e-statements, you are going to spend on buying clothing. On buying, yeah, watches, I mean, which which which, which we are used it. to already. Because how often do you buy a dress? How often and would how you buy often a shoe? Would any other person want an e statement as against a statement? Some of us we, use the 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 SMS every day because as soon as there's some sort of transaction on your account, they send you, you know, and yeah. you you can you can go online to check your statement if you like every day. Wonderful. For instance, that is why it becomes a very useful to a, a vehicle for managing consumption taxes. It comes out several times in small amounts, so you pay the taxes in small amount. You see, the financial service sector, as the other sectors, are only a mechanism for raising consumption taxes under the VAT. Mm. There are other consumption taxes. And I will come to that one. VAT has to be what we call uniform and neutral. VAT has been on several sectors of the economy all along. Some sectors for various reasons, have been out of the VAT net, severally, including financial services, including housing. In recent times, not only in Ghana, developments in economies have, been ten have tended to have vast expansion in those areas, but they are still outside the tax net. All of us say we need to improve our tax to GDP ratio. I hope everybody understands that what it means. It means if you are producing so much, 100, you need to collect about 20 or thereabout as taxes. You can do that efficiently if you broaden the tax net. So the fundamental thing that you have, which is very right, is that you are used to certain uh, services and goods, supply of goods and services being subject to the tax. It's about time that you expand the tax net by bringing into the tax net other uh, uh, um, sectors that hitherto had not been under the, the tax. And that is why this consideration is being done to extend it to financial services. So the fundamental issue is that where there is a tax and the person provide, I mean VAT, and the person providing it is registered and taxable, that tax will be borne by the final consumer. Mm. Nobody runs away from that fact. You know the things I've heard, some people are mm. planning that if my salary went to my account, mm. I'll go and take the bulk cash mm. and then distributed you know put it down if i need it instead of go to the bank every now and then because everything that i'm going to do in the bank now there'll be some tax on it so people are not encouraged to keep their monies there you buy a safe and keep it and keep the, the money in there no oh, so you've had a lot of things oh yes oh yes oh yes oh yes it is a very good sentiment there are various ways by which people react and that is our duty and all other people's duty to give advice of course you are free to do that one but in life, you do a little bit of what people call cost-benefit analysis, isn't it? Now, if you draw your money from the your salary from the account, mm -hmm. you buy a safe. You pay VAT in buying the safe. You understand? Keeping the money in the house. But that's, that's a one-time VAT. So we come in that one. So you pay that one. Keeping your money in 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 the house or whatever, it's like hiding your talents because that money can grow and do work for you. Invest. I mean, put it in the savings account. That's if account. I'm running a current account, I don't get anything on it anyway. Wonderful. Now, if you put in the current account, there is no VAT for 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 the management of that your current account, mm. isn't it? Yeah, but if I want to, if I want an e statement, mm. if I want to use the SMS. Great. I'm, I'm coming to that point. Now, when you put your money for this, somebody wants to do this this thing this way. I would advise you: don't buy the safe to pay the tax. Put it in a savings account. Invest it in other financial instruments. Then the money grows for you. Other than that, when you do that, you are hiding your talents. And then you, you, you match it against the cost that you are costing, cost to you of paying taxes. It's not only the banking services that are taxable that you're paying. You will be paying other taxes. Now, it's taxes, payment of taxes, it's a cost to you. In moment, really, you may think it's a cost to you. But remember, you are contributing to a national kitty that performs, that develops the same public goods and services that mm. you require. Yeah, and, and, and critics will say, why don't you look out, look, look out for creative ways of widening the tax net instead of, you know, still burdening the few people who are consistently paying tax? Interestingly, the critics will tell you, or the analysts will tell you that 
widening the tax net in genius ways is using instruments like financial services. I mean, it is, it is a very wide scope, but you have to look at it in a certain segmented or gradual way. They will tell you that that is an area that you need to look at. That is the emerging part, financial services, e-transactions generally, uh, uh, real estate and housing. Those are the areas that have been out of the tax net that you must now begin to consider to bring into the tax mm. now, Does the GRA care when people complain, when people say all the, so, all the, all the things that you, you've heard? We care a lot. One, as, as, as uh, public officers who are managing the tax, and also as citizens. I am also a customer of a bank. The GRA as an institution is a customer of the financial system. Tax collection itself is done through the financial system because you pay your taxes by checks, etc. Mm. So everybody cares. And indeed, in the design and implementation of taxes, there is always, you, you call it tax analysis, you continuously analyze tax, not only in Ghana. So every concern that is raised is very important. The, the, the only aspect of it sometimes is the, is the uh, environment and language and code that these things are, are done. But having removed all of it, you still listen to the issues that are being raised, and then look at the tax, either in terms of the law itself, in terms of the business processes that you are using, in terms of the directors and co, to ensure that you minimize compliance uh, uh, inefficiencies or cost of compliance. So we do really care. And remember, I'm a customer of a bank myself, personally. Yeah, I mean, because, okay. because you know, a, a lot of people also complain, and perhaps this is not uh, one that you can easily address, mm. that we don't even know what the taxes are being used for. Because okay. there are so many problems that we are confronted with. I mean, look at the economy today. Mm. And you're taking a lot of things from us. Let me, uh, by now, just open the phone lines. You can join mm. the conversation on 0302 2116912. Let me know what you're thinking on this. Um, so if you do the calculation, really... How much are you taking? Because we say 17.5, 17.5. How much are in terms of the revenue that you can or, or No, 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 for, in terms of the exact an... amounts in my ordinary Ghana cities. Okay. So we use examples. Mm. And I've used the bankers, uh, the, the... The bankers the draft, draft, you use the five example. cities. So, the, and, and it's good you have this place so that listeners will get around this problem. We said it several times, but I have to. I want to pay my son's school fees in a school in Cape Coast. The fee is 500 Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. I want to use a banker's draft. So I approach my bankers. I have an account with them. Mine is a personal current account. I approach the bank and I want to make it. The fee for it, I'm using facility because it's easy to calculate. It could be anything. So the bank processes it, get the forms and all those things, and they say that, okay, uh, you have to give us a, a, a check not only for the 500, but our charge of five cities mm -hmm. i'm talking of before now the five cities is the fee that the bank is charging for providing you that service mm -hmm. 17 and a half percent will be on the five cities i'm assuming that the bank maintains the the, the rate at five cities 17 mm -hmm. and a half percent will be on the five cities so and that will come out to 88 pesos let's use 90 pesos for ease of calculation and therefore for that service to be done for me i am going to pay the bank five cities and I'm going to pay 80 pesos as tax. The, but the 80 pesos will be paid to the bank because they must collect it. So for that five cities, 500, you have to pay to the bank. The 500 which is going mm -hmm. plus five cities, 80 pesos or 90 pesos. That is the exact amount of VAT that you are paying on that service. The bank collects that one. In addition to all the other tax VAT that they charge on other services, mm. at the end of the period, the bank and any other institution will have collected taxes from its clients or customers. In tax, and they call that one their output tax, okay. which they will then pay to government. Mm. But before paying to government, any business itself will have paid VAT on what we call inputs, the things that they use. They, if their computer system break down, they have people to come and service it, the people will charge them VAT, and that is an input tax. Okay. Let yeah, me just quickly go to that the, let me quickly go to the phone line. Let me speak to Farouk, you're joining us from Tamale. Hello, good morning to you. You're on air. Yeah, yeah good morning. Thank yes, you Farouk. for I mean taking my call. Mm. Um, hello. Yes, Farouk, you're on. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Um 
You see, the problem really is that it's not about paying the tax sometimes, but it's what is being used for. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. It's like at the end of the day, the fewer people are taxed. Uh, government workers, like those who are on salary, mm. are always taxed at the end of the day, mm. but those in the uh, other sectors are able to charge the tax. Mm. I think uh, mostly the problem is that the GRA is not taking steps to actually, I mean, get those in the informal sector to get their taxes paid. So at the end of the day, the fewer who are on government payroll are, I mean, uh, uh, overburdened in terms of the taxes. Mm. Sometimes you take your pay slip and it's like you go through it and you see a lot of deductions. Then you ask yourself, wow, they mentioned that at the end of the day you take this amount as a, 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 this person. But at the end of the day, the taxes that are deducted from it, is, 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 at the, your net is actually very small. So I'm just like uh, hello, Farouk. So I'm just thinking, mm -hmm. yeah, hello. Yeah. Yes. So honestly speaking, uh, it's not the matter of paying the tax, but at least we want to be seeing some. I mean, uh, work being done mm. with the taxes we pay. Okay. Right. All right. Yes. Thank you, Farouk from Tamale. Mm. You can yeah, also join uh, on two one one six nine one or two. Mm. And I was I was also going to ask about. Withholding tax. Good. So could you quickly react to Farouk's uh, yes. concerns? Mm -hmm. Farouk, thank you very, very much. Remember, I'm also a salaried worker. Just as all mm -hmm. of us. Maybe you, you're probably not feeling as much as we would because you, you obviously, I mean, you're no, a big man. You earn a lot you, of money. You, you need to check my face. <laughs> right? You see the amount of taxes I pay. But indeed, it's made a very, very good point. There is a lot of burden on salaried workers because you are readily identifiable. Okay, it's. Apart from all the challenges, it's an identifiable group of taxpayers that you can manage. And therefore, like you said, you need other ingenious means to ensure that those who are outside the tax net, who forever, for one way or the other, either due to them or due to us, are able to, attack, to, to, to get out of the tax net to pay some taxes by the way, the way they consume things. Mm. Right? And that is why there is a tax like VAT, a tax like excise duty, a tax like communication service tax, so that we spread the net a little bit. And financial services are not used only by salaried workers. Indeed, they will be used by all other persons. It becomes one of the vehicles that you can use. But what he's saying is very, very true. If we look at our relative, in relative terms, uh, those who are known, including employees, are the ones who bear a brunt of the taxes. It is time for us to modernize our tax administration system, which we have been doing for some period of time now, to ensure that we put in place mechanisms where other people who mm. use it then pay some other taxes. All right, I'll speak to, uh, you continue with that, but I'll speak yes. to Maxwell next. Good morning, Maxwell. Good morning, madam. How are you? Very well, thank you. Maxwell, where are you calling from? I'm calling from ACMI in the Western region. All right, please go on. We can hear you. Thank you. Uh, please, I would like to know from uh, the officer uh, from GRE uh, to explain more on the the corporate account, especially those who manage their small businesses and they have corporate mm -hmm. accounts. We don't know much about the charges. Uh, and the, is it going to be on each check that you send it to the bank or is it going to be your maintenance fee, what we call the COT at every month or whatever? So I'm going to elaborate more on it. And secondly, I would be very grateful if uh, those people charge the revenue will come out in this place. Because sometimes the politicians take a different case about it and sometimes they scare us about some of these things. All right, Maxwell, thank you. Um, he wants to know that when, when you say you're, you're charging on the current accounts, the 17.5 on current accounts, but it's corporate, uh, if you can explain, is it uh, when you send a check to the bank? Okay. Uh, um, corporate account. Part okay, so let, let me just speak okay. Mohammed, and sure, then you sure, can address sure, sure. The, the two. Hello, Mohammed. good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, Mohammed. Yes, I I want to ask uh, our officer there. Mm -hmm. uh, he might mention, uh, assuming if you are going to pay a school fee, mm. uh, you go to the bank and they charge you. Uh, he mentioned five cities as uh, as an example. Mm -hmm. So, and these five cities, you'll be adding another maybe 80 pesos to the making five cities 80 pesos. Mm -hmm. So, with the five, five cities he talked about, mm. can't the bank uh, deducts that particular easy persuasive mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. will go to 17.5% mm -hmm. at birth. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not getting to, uh, 
I mean, the chemistry there. So the five cities, I'm thinking yeah, that the five cities should rather, should rather get that money. That charge, the 17.5 from that five cities. Mm. No, the, 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 yeah, Mohammed, that, that is, right. Mohammed, just hang on. That is the whole idea. Mm. Our fear okay. as clients is that we know that the banks, they, they will definitely pass it on to us. I mean, you okay. know that they will pass it on to you, but the charge is on that five cities. Okay. Mm. Do you get it? It's not the money that you're transferring yeah. or the, okay. the amounts you. that you're doing the draft on. It's the charge okay. that comes with it. Mm. But our fear okay. is that the banks will definitely pass it on to us. I mean, even if it's 80 pesos yeah, or one peso, uh, one cities. Right. Okay, all right. right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, Mohammed. Mm -hmm. yeah, Mohammed, yeah, thank you very much for, for that one. I, I, I would want us to go back to Maxwell's Max because Wall I think it's... Yeah, yeah, account, yeah that's thinking. right. You see, part of the definition of financial service, operation of a bank account hmm. or an account of a similar institution, uh, uh, operation of a bank account, when banks operate an account, there are several services they do for that operator. And uh, I, I'm not speaking for the banks, but there are several services they will perform in operating that bank account. Some of those services will attract fees. Okay? All the work that they do for operating a bank account, it attracts fees. The Lord just talks about operating of a bank account, an account of a similar institution. So to bring about specifics, there is this indicative list, and they say that if there is... A, a, a current account or a savings account, savings account completely, current account run by an individual. All the services that you render in managing, in running, in operating that bank account, the fees that you charge out of it are out of the scope. Right? So, um, you are taking if you pay in the check. Mm. You, you, you no, so, so because uh, as part of the list, there's current accounts. Foreign corporate. or local, corporate yes. bodies only. That's right. that's so, right. and 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 how does this one work? You know, that's what Maxwell wants to yeah, to know. Because if you have a small business, it still comes under this because you consider it as corporate, isn't it? That's but right. as you well, look for what you're looking for, let me pick. Uh, this I'm afraid will be our very last call because mm -hmm. we need a lot of time mm -hmm. for the explanation. Mm -hmm. Hello, Felix. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yes, Felix. Go ahead. All right. Um, I would like to ask that. Uh, um, why it, it seems like the, the system is very hungry for money from the people, okay? Because you look like uh, we, we want to motivate people to save in a bank, to put their monies there. We Bank of Ghana brings in uh, uh, a, a directive that uh, if you want to pick money above 5000 you can give a third-party check in that manner. So people are going to resort to these bankers draft something. But mind you, it's been... You're being charged on how much you are withdrawing from the bank. You're only using 500 cities. People are, you know, following 80 pesos, you know, that charge, uh, thinking or maybe seeming that it's a small amount. Mm -hmm. But if you want to give someone, uh, if you want to uh, make payment, you're in a university, you want to make 2,000 Ghana city payment or something, you realize mm -hmm. the charge will be so much. Mm -hmm. And how do we motivate people to be using the banks or putting money there? Once these charges keep going up, mm. you understand. And I it, get it, you. It's a big confusion, yeah. Mm. It, it All right. Like, yeah. Okay. All right, Felix. And there's okay. uh, Della is my very last call. Hello, Della. Hello. Good morning, Della. You're on. Thank you so much. You're on. Please go ahead. Hello. Yes, Della. We can hear you here. Go on. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I, I just want to find out what a bank up uh, the GRA in a place to ensure that the taxes collected are paid to government accordingly because this telcos issue came up when we were told that telcos were not paying the taxes they were supposed to pay to government. What kind of mechanism is CRA putting in place so that after the banks have collected the taxes from mm -hmm. me, they will pay to government? Okay. okay. All Thank right, Dala. I think it's a very good question. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thanks to all your listeners. You are asking very pertinent and practical questions. Mm -hmm. Because the last one is the freshest. Let so you tackle that. There. We'll come back to the corporate. Yeah, the corporate links up to the question about the charges on the bank mm -hmm. uh, drug tax. And, you, and, yeah, and he mentioned COT as COT well. COT and all those things that you pass. So it mm -hmm. all lands to it. But um, the banks, indeed, Joy and all other persons who are registered with the VAT have got various tax obligations that they meet with the, G with the GRE. 
and they are all managed by our our offices. We have field offices all over the places. Interestingly, VAT, not only for financial services, for all others, is a self-assessing tax. Mm. In the sense that where a person is registered, you submit a return every month to show the net, either as the output, your input, and what you have to pay. Mm -hmm. At the time you, you submit your return, it is accepted and you make payment. Then we follow up with what we call audits. Fortunately, in the, the banking industry is one industry that is heavily regulated and documented. Mm -hmm. So there's always not only what the banks tell you that these are my results, but third party information that you can follow. You get me? They make returns to the Bank of Ghana, they make various returns. So basically, not only for VAT, but for other tax handles, we audit them to determine mm. the outcome of their operations. Okay. And for VAT, you will find out how much VAT they have collected or they should have collected okay. and how well they have accounted mm. for it. And this is something that has been done continuously in the past. Okay, you except that what it is used for is none of your business. Well, it's not of your business as GRE. It's everything my business as a part of the system, including the fact that I'm a citizen. Okay, so but, he's but right it, in saying mm. one thing. He say, but well, you cannot account for what we've used the monies for as no, GRA, we can you? No, no, we okay. do not So can I, can I just go back, because we have just about two or sure, three sure, minutes. Sure. I, if I'm a small business mm -hmm. uh, and I have a current account, the 17.5, mm. and this is back to Maxwell's That's question, right. would... I, I am in that bracket. That's bracket. Right. That's right. Okay. Well, How does it work? Good. If I if I give somebody a check mm. to the bank, mm. there will be a charge on it. It means that I'll pay the seventeen point five. Let's assume that there's a charge on it mm -hmm. for, 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 for the transfers for, mm -hmm. for ease of illustration. Right. Now you 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 are a small business and you are you must be registered for, for VAT I was suppose mm -hmm. with GRE. In in your business operations, you'll be paying VAT Okay, let me put it. The check that you are issuing mm -hmm. in payment for supplies that you want is, is, is part of the input for your business. Now, you are charged VAT on the service. I'm even assuming that there's a, a, a charge for, for you issuing the check. Or even let's say getting the check, there is a charge for it and therefore there's a fee for it. It may be any amount, whether 50 pesos or once bill, but it could be any amount. That amount for you, the business, comes to what you call your input tax. So at the end of the month, when you yourself have made supplies and charged your clients and collected VAT from them to pay to government, before paying to government, the law allows you to deduct from it the taxes that you will have been charged by the bank for issuing that check or getting the checkbook, and indeed any other VAT that you will have paid that were on things that you use for your business. It makes your business in terms of the financial more efficient because you are not able to take credit when I say take credit, subtract the VAT that you pay. So for that small startup business, register for the VAT, the advantage is that either to when banking services were fully exempt, you were indeed, there's no lower way to say, you were indeed paying, the, you were indeed absorbing the taxes that are going to providing you that service. It, make, it had made your work very, your, your business operation very inefficient. Now you have the opportunity and so it's not only the financial service. You will therefore, if you qualify, subtract all the VATs that you have paid on anything that you used in running the business. I'm emphasizing that one because mm. you'll have paid VAT on other things. A that is, somebody were check not in, is somebody checking to see you're doing the right thing or you're cheating or you're not? I did explain to you about re submitting returns. So there are various stages of accounting the tax that you, you, you pay. The person, you will submit a return. Mm. And... Part of the process is that at the time you submit the return, apart from arithmetic inaccuracies which will help to correct, we literally say you are believed. It's a self-assessing tax. Mm. We follow so, up. So, you know, I, I wish I had a lot of time to, to continue to this time. conversation, so but can we can we have you again next week? You because we, we want to continue, and I also want to talk about withholding tax as well. With you know, when they withhold, how, do you get the money back? There are a lot of things we need to do, so please uh, promise me sometime so next week. In fact, I'll be happy if you will mm. a grand January. Yeah. A regular slot. Okay, so next Wednesday, morning, next Wednesday so we have a date say, then. You know, Joy did have a program. They called the Let's Talk VAT. 1999, mm -hmm. when it started, every Wednesday evening, we were here. Then we go. If to I the give law. you the slot, you have to pay though. I mean, I can give no, you yeah, half of the price. Service, service exactly, but half of the price. Because when my money goes to the bank and I'm using it for something, they take the 17.5. So you want me to pay? A little. We will consider it. Yeah. But it will be a very so, useful partnership. Mm -hmm. And then we will have this. 
a, as let's an talk academy. Vats. Yeah, that let's would be talk good. Vats. There was yeah. a program, Let's Talk Vats. Joy was doing it. I think it was sponsored by one okay. of the so banks. Okay, so Joy News Multi TV will take it up. And then, but we have a date next Wednesday. Thank don't you, don't worry if mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know your questions were not fully answered, or if you really wanted to get through the phone lines. We are here again next Wednesday. But thank you for being a part of the show, and thank you, Ni Ayi Ayite. Collect uh, all the concerns. Mm -hmm. We'll get them ready, and, and it, it is it, in fact that is what it should be, mm -hmm. and that is what we want. All persons, not only joy, to get involved in. Yeah. Because and you keep saying joy. Add the news. Join news. Join news. Yeah, sure. Yeah, All because right. Because the Join news. <laughs> Thank you for this opportunity. But All we'll right. take up the challenge. Okay, so have a good day. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being a part of our show.